Living in a foreign country can change you in so many ways. It can be intellectually, emotionally, but also in the way you're doing stuff, like the way you behave sometimes. I lived in Japan for six months and when I came back to Europe, I was bowing all the time. Like I was saying, yes, thank you. Yes, because in Japan they always do that, so I took the habit without even noticing it. I don't know if this kind of thing happened to you as well, if you lived in a foreign country, but let me know in the comment, I would be curious to know. And now here are the things that I do since I live in Italy. It takes more time, but it's way better. I don't use Nespresso machines anymore. This word is used by Italians to express a doubt. It can be translated by, I don't know, who knows? Like a bus. Yeah, sorry, I'm going, I'm going. As I was saying in my last video, I had to pass the test for my driving license three times. So I'm not a good driver, I'm overly careful and I always respect the speed limit. But driving in Italy forced me to dare a little bit more. Anyway, I'm gonna do another video about the driving situation in Italy because there is a lot to say. Are you kidding me? This makes no sense. So it's a little bit cliche to say that Italians are talking with their hands. It's like saying, yeah, French people always say, uh, 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 uh. yeah, we do. And Italians do speak with their hands. So you kind of take the habit as well. Italians are very surprised every time I said that in France, in Paris, for instance, but even in smaller cities, the pizza costs at least between 15 to 20 euros. And my friends in France were surprised when I said that the pizza in Italy costs between 4 to 10 euros. Unless you go to touristic places, then obviously it's gonna be different, but otherwise you pay very little for a pizza. But makes sense, when you go to Japan, the sushi costs way less than in Europe or in North America, for instance. Hey! In the group of friends, there is always this person living in a foreign country or traveling a lot. The person is always kind of bragging. So right now, I'm this annoying friend. Hey, scusa, I'm a little bit late. Ciao, bella. Actually, they don't say pizzeria, they say pizzeria. Bellissima. Mm. And then I ask for... Um, um, oh, I forgot the word in English. I have it in Italian, but not in English. Cappuccino, right, that's the word, yeah. No, it's not the same pronunciation, no. It's different, yeah. Did you notice my new scar? There are drawings of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, this is not how you cook pasta. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you want to know a little bit more about how is it to live in Italy as a foreigner, I give you the link of my video somewhere on the screen. If you lived or you are currently living in a foreign country, don't hesitate to share your experience with me in the comments. I would be very happy to read your story. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, take care and see you soon. You want to say something? She's a little bit shy. <laughs>